Hendrix. Let's go find the goddamn key with Hendrix. Because all of a sudden we can. the godless priestess to such madness i push my subjects yes but that's because i can see beyond their potential even past even past their breaking point did i push her to this madness as well i can ending the war will mean the retentions have no cause to unleash the void let us find ratica okay we will find her in her cage? Redentions. They're here for Ratica, no doubt. All of you, cease fighting at once. Oh, and you're fighting with them? Please, there is no need for violence. Yeah. Get the blue ponytail first! I ordered you to cease fighting, soldier. But, sir, they kept on attacking. As did you. Peace may prove more trying than war. Let us make our way inside. Yeah. Redentions! There's no need for violence. Don't let them mess with your mind, brothers. Now's our chance. Oh, sorry. It's not like I like you. <laughs> Release them so you won't kill me. Or try to kill me. Oh well. You cannot run it on your own. It will save us a lot of time. No, it doesn't work like that. No! Okay, so... Was there a possibility for me to not fight? <laughs> yes, you should... Okay, he is fighting. What the hell is... Why would you fight like that? I don't see a thing. Kill them all, they're down. Just yes, stop using void. What will it take for the redemptions to listen? Hmm. I think I've never opened that. It was never in such horrible state. Open up, thank you. There's still that one door that was in the yeah, box temple that I couldn't open. Did I go here? How could they still be fighting each other? Don't they see it? The void seeping through the walls? Or is it your presence, Harbinger, that grants me this awareness? There's something else. Yeah. 
so good having him here in such narrow space. Okay, nearly there. Okay, let's get down. Ludomir, Snow, it's Draga, Snow, Ratika? Maybe. Indrik, I think. Indrik and his old advisor, Lokrin, are staring at a large map of Uralia, a crackling fireplace, and several candles lit the Emperor's perfect chambers. The hour is late. Emperor, this is the perfect opportunity to test Iron Trick's fury. I disagree with Lokrin, sire, interrupted General Elia. As she barged into the room, her second defiant in tow, the Rodentians barely survived a monumental disaster, Elia continues. Introducing Pegarian weapon will send the wrong message. The patrician sneers at Elia. Pegarian strength cannot be compromised. Lokin, we do not need a war. Our main focus is to gain the Rodentian trust. Trust, yes. The goddess priestess can be of use, Lokin suggests. I bring Vera into this, the Feline asks. Lokrin snaps. Who gave you permission to speak? Elia intercedes. Traga has a point. We do not need the priestess. Lokrin grits his teeth. A strong symbol is what this nation needs most. What this nation needs most is my leadership, Lokrin. The little light patrician boasts low and utters. Of course, Emperor. Indrix turns to Elia. General. Starts gathering goods and materials. We will move them into Rodentia and distribute them immediately. And please teach your second proper etiquette. General Elia and the Felain salute and hurriedly leave the room. The partition remains mediative. Is it wise to empower the general? Lokrin, old friend, you have wisdom, but you lack vision. How can the Rodentian believe in our sincerity if our army does not? Besides, I leave to you the most important tasks. Anything, sire. You know what to do. The Rodentian youth are the key. And make sure our proxies are discreet. If lack, there will be a gentle revolution. If not, war. Okay, I'm not sure whether I can go back. Ah, okay. Okay. So it was your plan to kidnap kids of Rodentia. Hmm. What were you trying to do with them? I seek your leader. Stop toying with us and get it over with. If you can reach us. There's something destroyable. Please spare me. Hey. Really? Is there some explosive around here? No? There's something upstairs. But I cannot move with it. So I will not know what's on the right side. Let me the shame. No comment on the writing. No. Eh. No. No. Yes. Be careful, Harbinger. I am careful. I'm always careful. I just want a lot of ember. So I'm able to upgrade a lot of things. So I think it will be the last time I'm able to. We killed him. Redentions, you are free to go. I only wish to speak with your leader. 
Yeah, and as soon as we move, your soldiers will turn us into practice dummies. Men, leave the prison at once. Any who harms or redemption will be court-martialed. Now, move! Stand down, redentions. No harm will come to you. You have my word. I guess it worked. Just, I don't trust anyone in here. Wait. No chests. I think I collected them a lot. Oh, I heard... Heard something. I think I heard something. Harbinger, you must use your power. Show Ratika the vision. I know. Expect as much disbelief from her as from herself. I've done that a couple of times already. Didn't know it was visitor's hour. Sorry, I don't have any more tea. I'm not here for tea. Never know. It was damn good tea. Mm. The companion has something urgent to show you. Is that the heart? Show me what exactly? Yes, I'm the harbinger. Use your power. Show Ratika what you showed me. No thanks. No offense, harbinger. You do look like the real deal, but I can't trust you for signing <sighs> in right here. Ratika. Damn stubborn. You can change. I realize what I've done. The different directions I might have taken. Different directions? Are you kidding? Oh, you've gone far beyond the point of no return. Radiga, please listen. I'm not here to fight. You and I, we face a greater enemy. Endrick, I don't know what to say. Here you are, fake harbinger and all, asking for help after all the damage you've done? If you're gonna lie, you'll need to lie a lot better than this. This... this is just embarrassing. Harbinger, hurry! The vi I know. I thought I killed her. I, I was sure I had killed Vera. But how did she... Those others still got to her. But they let her die anyway? It matters very little how she died now. The harm is done. Had you not failed in your attempt? Well, yeah. They don't teach us owl anatomy at school. Hold on. I don't have to justify myself to you. You think you're so perfect, Emperor? You've done far worse than me. Murder? Torture? War? And you think you'll ever find redemption? <laughs> not likely. You are right. I have harmed many in trying to bring our nations together. Including you, Ratika. And for that, I am... sorry. But now is not the time for blame. Now we need to act. I... Uh, was, was that... Indrik, what happened to you? Wait... Why am I acting all flustered? You're the one who should be flustered! You know what? Never mind. Indrik, if you're serious, I'll give you one chance to explain. One chance. You must seek out Vera's accomplices. Convince them to give you Cladden. The sword is vital to our success. Oh, easy. No trouble at all. And what will you be doing, sitting perched on your throne, waiting for me to deliver Cladden to you? After you retrieve the blade, I will use it to banish the void. I will need the Harbinger's help. She is best suited for the task. 
My ancestors have entrusted this to me. My lineage demands I take this responsibility for all our sakes. Okay then. We're off to save the world. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. Oh. Do you know where the sword is or will we meet with Ludomir? Yarbog left this world long ago. Before he did, he took precautions to prevent the Void's return. We were talking something about hidden chambers. Your presence is proof of that, Harbinger. But Yarbog saw to that as well. I will take you now to a special place within the temple. A chamber that has been sealed for 300 years. Yeah, not so much, I think. This corruption. I know. The void is gaining ground with every breath we take. Was it like that the first time I came here? First time. The first day I'm pretty sure I did not come here. I'm pretty sure I will have to do another day. Oh. Let's get ready. Temple defenses. They've not been active since the Oh. Oh. Oh, no. So cool. I don't know go down there. Okay, I'll go down there. Cyphers. I expected as much with all this corruption. Oh, oh right, this is the first time you see them. No, it's not. Potential use them. It was that they with you. But there's no real reason for you not. I don't know about their presence. No. Yarbog's aura is still present in the temple. It must be attracting the void. Damn it. I think I saw something here? No. There's explosive. Okay. I do Oh, okay, it it worked. <laughs> uh, I remember this place. Stop us, abomination. Yeah, I wish that was true. Did it work? Yeah, kind of. Oh, I hate those flying ones. They really look as if they learned from Indrik. There's one upstairs, but... Pretty sure he is... Okay, he can go. I <laughs> wished he was bugged. Mm -hmm. The inner temple is not far now. We should not linger. Yeah, just a second. <gasps> so I don't know what we will find there. Looking for a key right now. The mean to open the seal. Okay, I was here. And I don't want to go further. Why? 
I don't care about this. I want this. Hello. Seriously? I I cannot pick it up. Thank you. I think this will be right. Okay, I was here. Ooh, oh, okay. Yeah, on the right hand side we found memory of Vulcan. Perhaps the void is not attracted to this place. Perhaps it is attracted to us. If Voden believes we're a threat to him, then we're on the right track. Oh, I can destroy those big ones. Okay, but I wanna get there. Here. These doors. I'm gonna open them. Okay, we've been here. This is the place when Hendrik becomes Firebird. But we can't get inside. Look at them here. Hendrik, back like a bad habit. It was easy to track you. Come here to pray? It's too late, I'd say. We have no time for a fight, you sodden fool. Greater matters are at hand. Should know. I smashed that crystal of yours. Send you that bit there, though. Savage. I should. <laughs> ah, that's the intrigue I know. Ah, Ludomir. I've made peace with Ratica. Now go home. I must help the Harbinger. There's little time left. Ah, Harbinger? That one with you? Damn. Mind that I take you both off. Really? There was no choice in that matter. Oh. There's little I can do against. No. What the hell? I'm from here. I'm D hub. Can't fight your own back, Dick. My turn. Okay. <laughs> Just let me ride you again. <laughs> Oh, okay, I did it. I know you will. Can't fight your own battles, Indrick. No, let me stab that. I think it's the hardest battle on just me off, right? And just listen This on the side wouldn't be helpful against him I believe it's very good. And everything. She just wouldn't understand that Indrik wasn't the one who killed her. No, you just rush after Artika after finding. Oh my goodness. You'd kill all of Odensia. I'm Abinger, thank you very much. Ooh, stop it! Yeah. You're going down, Ludomir.
Go. He is still alive. End it. The mm. last time you're at my mercy. I thought I could help you find your true strength. <laughs> I was a fool. Did you hit your head in trick? When it was decided that I would be emperor, everything was taken from me. Childhood, family, love. With a grim mm. focus, I was forged into a perfect ruler. I thought I could reforge you the way I was reforged. But thanks to the Harbinger, I finally understand. Becoming Emperor did not make me stronger. It broke me. So I tried to break you. Took your freedom, your hope. I even took your eye. But where I broke, you held. You are the strong one. Is this an apology? Ah, the Harbinger is waiting. Go home, Ludomir. Yes, I'm waiting. Indeed. Mm, we don't have to wait for me. You could open the top. Okay, I'm not sure, but I think I have never opened those doors. Left the void one. Yeah, I've never done that. Why more violence? Really? You're really asking that while fighting with void creatures. The better outcome would have been no violence. I know, but it's not possible with them. Just another memory. What is it? This is for one. No? This one. Do it. What? I come down. Gila savers the merchant's incredulous look. Well, longer than continues his tale. There I was, standing at the edge of Ruralia, facing the an endless sky. I wonder, anything down there? So I figured, since no one has done it before, why not have a look? I secured myself with a rope and started the descent. The merchant's lives are roasting dragon cricket from the campfire and offers it to Gilas. The explorer peels the sh hidden and takes a huge bite, wipes the juices from his lips and continues his story. I clicked to the surface and carefully inched downward. I was expecting the edge to be smooth, shaped by the searing winds, but instead, I was holding onto a wrinkled, rough stone. Except it wasn't a stone. It took me a while to understand what I was hanging onto. He last stops to check on his audience. With the careful timing of an expert storyteller, he delivers the punchline. It was a root. Eh? I saw dozens of roots, maybe a hundred feet in diameter, extend downwards. Seeing into the clouds, Euralia is not just a giant mass of land, it's a living giant mass of land. I'm money by my leg, but that's not the strangest part. Gilas takes a deep breath. The next bit, I'm terrified just thinking about it. The merchant is about to burst in laughs, but something in Gilas still stops him dead in his tracks. I was about to go back when I sensed a shiver down my spine. Slowly, I turned my head, and there it was, staring at me. All I can remember are the eyes, three pairs, as big as an apple tree, piercing me. I was frozen. Then I felt it. It was in my mind, searching for something. Searching? For memories. It sent me images. A giant serpent, battle, I think. I think it was looking for memories of Odin. Odin? It was a hundred years ago. Yeah, probably why the creature quickly lost interest. It turned around and plunged beneath the clouds. The next thing I remember was back on I was back on the surface running towards my village. The merchant meditates on the tail for a while and asks And you don't remember what it looked like? This is the scariest part. Every time I try to remember, I faint. Come on, try. If I sign give up focus on the memory, on the giant eyes, then everything turns black. 
Okay. So he is down there. Um, under the island. Really. That's creepy. <laughs> Expect a giant turtle to be underneath, but instead they have a, a giant. I wanted to use that. They have a giant serpent underneath their world. Good job, me. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, I'm open. Come on, load up, please. Thank you. Oh, they're tro throwing me to sickle, guys. I, I hit that. I don't know which one. I ah, Mark is from Injik and which one is from Flood Creatures. No. Uh -huh. Wait, why are we going downstairs? All the corruption we saw today. It is clear that Voden has grown in strength. You know. I hope we are not too late. Okay, this looks creepy. But why are we going in here again? Is it in here? No. <gasps> That's the seal. The final words of Yarbog are inscribed within. A secret seal bearing the antiquated sigil of the legendary sword, Cladden. Comprehension surge into your mind. Ah, you learn quickly. Thank you. Be sure to protect this knowledge. I'll try. But that's this not... room was built by Pigaria's first emperor, Iron Trek the Unifier. It was said that Yarbog spoke to Iron Trek directly, and the emperor inscribed his words on these very walls. Harbinger. Hmm, he was expecting you. You have awakened by my failings. The beast and the blade, your will must bind. Let me share a secret with you then. Voden was not truly defeated by Yarbog. I know. It is not easy to kill a god, as you may suspect. No, the void was imprisoned. And its prison is the sword Cladden. The writing on these walls, they are instructions for you, Harbinger. Unlock Cladden's seal. Enter the prison. Defeat the void. Don't worry. Those were Yarbog's final instructions if all else failed. No metaphors. No riddles. Let us pray that Rattiger finds the sword before Voden completely escapes his prison. I know where to go to get the Cladden. Nothing to Rattiger for that. Unless you really think I do need her. Died in prison. Hmm. Maybe she knows what Adam is. I don't know. 
Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's not nearly enough experience. Oh well. So let's see what's most important for me. Heavy attack, I think. Or maybe let's get rid of those things. I can sit. Pay it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really doing that. Give me that. So it's Ratika? No. I think I want to see Ludomir. Yes. I can sense it. The tree is dying. Hurry, Harbinger. Oh, actually, I've got. <laughs> we'll go with Ludomir. No, for now, thank you. Bye bye.